dobutamine or dobutrex. This is a common medication given in ICUs, in cardiac floors, and in any uh, location where you're going to see a patient with uh, long-term or acute cardiac conditions. So the indication for this medication is really a short-term management of heart failure. And the way that it works, okay, so dobutamine is a positive inotropic medication. Basically what that means is it's going to increase the cardiac output. And it does this with very little effect on the heart rate. Okay, so that's a really good thing. So to think positive inotropic effect, what that really means is it means more squeeze. So dobutamine is going to stimulate beta-1 receptors in the heart, causing them to produce more squeeze on the heart, which is going to help our cardiac output. The way that I always differentiate dobutamine from dopamine is dobutamine has a B in it, okay? So with dobutamine, you think beta. So it's going to have this beta effect. And it's pharmacologic class is actually beta adrenergic agonist. So dobutamine, we know, is a beta agonist, meaning that it's really stimulating those beta-1 receptors. We know we have beta-1 receptors in our heart. And by stimulating those, we're causing that additional squeeze on the heart to push fluid out. Think of the heart as a sponge. Inotropes, positive inotropes are going to work like your hands, okay? We have all these beta receptors. Think of your hands like the beta receptors on the heart, and they're going to squeeze and push the fluid out, the blood out. Okay, so its therapeutic class is inotropic. Pharmacologic class is beta adrenergic agonist. There are some things we really want to keep in mind when we're giving dobutamine to our patient, okay? First thing, a really important thing, is don't confuse dobutamine with dopamine. We want to monitor our cardiac output, obviously. This is what we're giving it for, is try to help this. We want to monitor it make sure it's actually doing its job. We're also gonna monitor peripheral pulses before, during, and after therapy. We're trying to increase this cardiac output, trying to improve cardiac output, so we wanna monitor our pulses. We wanna monitor our hemodynamics, watch for hypertension. It can increase heart rate and it can lead to PVCs. One thing to keep in mind here too is, is you may have patients who are on beta blockers, maybe they're on beta blockers for hypertension. If we give uh, dobutamine to a patient who's on beta blockers, the beta blockers could actually kind of negate the effects of our dobutamine. Remember, our dobutamine is a positive inotropic. It's, it's a beta-1 agonist, meaning it's going to stimulate that. If we're giving beta blockers at the same time, we could really negate the other one and the other, okay? So we've got to be very careful about simultaneous administration with beta blockers. In some patients also, dobutamine can cause uh, hypersensitive reactions on uh, for our patient's skin. Okay, so that's really kind of a, a quick overview of dobutamine. Important medication to keep in mind, especially if you're working on a cardiac floor. Biggest thing to keep in mind is it's positive inotropic, and we really want to be careful not to confuse it with dopamine. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.